and exchanged available goods with each other. For a developing society, this was confusing and non-practical. Eventually, the concept of money came to the world. Money is an item or verifiable record that's used for the payment of goods and services and the payment of debts. While in the past, money was in the form of commodity money like grains, cattle, copper, silver, and gold. It has evolved into digital money like cryptocurrency. So today I will be discussing about the role of technology in the evolution of money. During the time when metals were used as commodity money, the technology useful for human beings was smelting. Smelting is a method of separating pure metals from their ores by applying high heat to them. Later, governments introduced minted coins by stamping their official seals on them. But the practical difficulty in using this money was the difficulty in storing and carrying large quantities of metal. When China invented paper technology and wood block printing, the problem was resolved. Paper money was invented during the time of the Tang Dynasty's rule from 618 to 907 AD. Later, under the rule of the Song Dynasty, paper money came into existence in the whole country. Eventually, this technology spread to the entire world. When Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press in the 15th century, banknotes obtained their present form. Usually, banknotes are made from cotton paper mixed with fibers like linen and abaca. They are made using a mold in which watermark and security thread are included. Now, hologram technology is widely used to ensure security of banknotes. Holograms have been incorporated into banknotes as security threads, stripes, patches, and window features. Holography will be explained in another video. To avoid deterioration of money and production of counterfeit notes, many countries are issuing polymer banknotes instead of paper banknotes. In 1996, Australia became the first country with complete polymer notes. When the use of computer and internet were widespread and ATM debit cards were introduced in 1960s, the age of digital money began. Instead of carrying banknotes, we started to use master visa cards and other online payment methods. After having coffee from a coffee shop, when a person uses his MasterCard for payment, many transactions take place within seconds. First, the terminal software at the coffee shop passes information about the transactions to the processor, and the processor demands authorization from the customer's bank through the MasterCard network. Then, the customer's bank sends approval to the processor through the MasterCard network, and the processor sends it to the shop's terminal. Later, the customer's bank sends money to the shopkeeper's bank. Here, the Visa MasterCard's associations act as an arbiter between the customer's bank and the shopkeeper's bank. All these things are possible because of the huge mainframe computers with super fast input output, high storage capacity, and advanced programming. Many banks already started using artificial intelligence. AI accomplishes anti-money laundering activities in few seconds and enables banks to manage huge volumes of data at record speed. In the recent years, cryptocurrency is a new term of money that we often hear. Bitcoin began in 2009 is considered as the first cryptocurrency. Bitcoins can be exchanged using national currencies, products, and services. Normally, when we do transactions, it is recorded in the central ledger of a bank or credit card company. But in cryptocurrency, which is not centralized in a government authority or organization, all the users will record their transactions in a global ledger called blockchain. When someone sends Bitcoin to another, this 
exchange will be recorded in this huge ledger. Bitcoin is not an any coin, but only transactions and balances. All can see all the transactions, but can't see who are behind each transaction. In Bitcoin, the technology of cryptography is used, which helps to encode all the transactions. Crypt means hidden, and graphy means writing. Using cryptography, information can be protected and intended persons can only read and process them. So, technology is mainly responsible for the transformation of money from commodity money like grains and metals to digital money like cryptocurrency. Let us wait and see how developing technology changes money in the future. And, as always, stay tuned for the next video.